Next break is 610 Contenders Case Random Divisions. I got Minshaw, Canakry, Runkle, Canakry, Pape, Hurt, Krua, Seeker. These are the names. We're going five times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five. Runkle on top, Pape on bottom. There's your verification code. If you ever say, I don't trust that guy over there. Verify it. Over here, we'll do the divisions. These are the teams. Going five times. There's the list. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five. NFC East on top, NFC West on bottom. Again, there's the code. There's your list. Ronco gets the NFC East. Seeker gets the AFC South. Joel Hurt gets the AFC East. Canakry, AFC West. He's going to shoot me until he gets to the bottom. Minshaw gets the AFC North. Krua gets the NFC South. Canakry gets the NFC North. Pape gets the NFC West. I don't have any dice. And in fact, somebody said something the other day that was like, look, I don't know why you guys don't use, you want to use the real dice, but everybody else uses these dice. Just, why don't you just keep it uniform? So I was like, Done. So that's what we're going to do. But yeah, I haven't had real dice in a while. I haven't had real dice in a while. I think my dog ate them. I ate the one. Because I have one. <coughs> Contenders. Let's rip my favorite, dude. I'll say it's my favorite until NT comes out, and then I'll say NT is my favorite. But it's it's very well probably a tie. I love this stuff. There is there honestly is that not a case this size that is anywhere near as fun to open or break. Like, we'll sit and break Bowman, whatever, and we'll fill a ton of Bowman, and we'll break a ton of Bowman, and we all know there's huge cards in Bowman, etc. But it's nowhere near as fun as this. It's just, just not. Like, I'll sit and rip Bowman, and I'm like, ugh. All right, gear up for it. I could sit and do these one after another, no problem. These are actually a harder rip than Bowman, because Bowman's just some big ass packs. This is all jumbo now. Some of you are on the other end probably saying, yeah, it's still a lot of cards, guys. It's boring. But I don't think it is. So Matori. I, there's no way I can say the first name, and I'm sure I'm saying your last name wrong, man. But what's up, buddy? I don't mean to. How many of you guys want to do? Six, or you want to do all of them? Scott, man, you had a nice uh, Montana auto. Montana. Where you watching from, buddy? Matori, where are you from? Let's just do them all. We got, last I looked, we had five left in Flawless. 
We had like 11 left in Optic Pick Your Team. We had like 11 left in Bowman Draft Pick Your Team. And they're good teams. I mean, like Oakland and uh, the Brewers, I think, just sold. Gotcha. What, Trubisky? I pulled one in the shop. But uh, I haven't pulled one in breaks. I'm going to pull an ice. I'm telling you, I wouldn't be surprised if both these cases are nasty. But one of these cases tonight, we're going to hit a big-ass cracked ice. Like I'm calling it. I'm calling my shot. The last case I opened had two, fucking two, Super Bowl tickets in them. Which, prior to that, I think I had uh, hit four or three ever. And two of those I don't think were autos. These were both autos. They weren't gigantic ones, but still, Super Bowl tickets are a hard pull. Because I've opened... I've probably opened... 300 cases of contenders. Maybe in the last two years, three years. Probably a, that might be low. I, you've seen a Watson. Were you not watching the first? I pulled three Watsons the first night. I haven't I haven't pulled a Mahomes, and I haven't pulled um. What else haven't I pulled? I haven't pulled a Dalvin Cook rookie ticket. I pulled the one to five. Uh, I pulled the Fournette, Cracked Ice, 620 Contenders is next. Um, I haven't pulled Mahomes, that's about it, I've pulled basically everybody. I haven't pulled a Trubisky in a break, but I pulled one for myself in the shop. I got a Trubisky and a Fournette base sitting in the shop right now. I got a Mariota Cracked Ice Auto sitting in the shop right now from this. Gotcha. Missed the first three hours. I've got mixing. I've got a bunch of. I've opened a lot of contenders. Um, a lot. I'm telling you, I, I said it when I was live. You, you gotta, if you want this stuff and it's around me, you gotta fill it quick because I will open it. Like, people always say something. People always say like, uh, "Dude, how do you have self-control?" There's two things I don't have a ton of self-control on. This one and NT. I'll typically rip myself a case or three of NT, and I'll typically rip myself a case or who knows of this. Um, how much on them? I don't know. I, I can't find a comp anywhere. Probably like a hundred. I don't know if that sounds close. It might be high. I don't know. It might be low. If you want, hit me up tomorrow, and uh, I'll send you pics. We can look. I looked for a comp today on the 17 cracked ice auto, and there isn't any that I've sold, at least not that I found. I'll probably look at last year's. I got a uh, DeMarco Murray silver ticket. I got a Foreman Hunt dual auto. A couple Galladay's, a couple of this, a couple of that. Got a nice mix into 17. I got a Dobbs to 17, but I traded it to Kristen already. So something else just went down.
<laughs> My wife posted something about school and being in, in nursing school and becoming a nurse and Kirk and the this comment and he goes, just wait Brad, she can officially diagnose people when they get butt hurt from breaks. <laughs> Him being one of them. I got a, I got a couple Kenny G's can agree if you need if you're looking for to complete them I got I got a Cooper Cup uh, playoff or championship ticket one of those two I want that in my homes though Optic is extremely close. Grab, we're waiting here since we need to open these packs. Grab a spot. I can't agree, so that will be your first client. We can start our own practice. Your husband doesn't pull me shit in a week. Ah! <laughs> Bowman draft or best? If the Bowman's best is my last case of best. Fill that up too. I want to pull that atomic uh, trout auto. Sounds like Bowman draft is down to 10 left. Flawless, I know, was down to 5. The 2015 Flawless football, the last I saw. Um, if I have to, I'll run a late night mini on it. We can do with all this and see if we can fill it that way, but we shouldn't have to. If it's that close, it should just go. Hey, yeah, fancy, I already broke it, Ryan. There is another case of that up as well, which spots have already been selling. There are two more cases of that up for tomorrow as well. Um, this is a decent case again, man. The stuff's, the stuff's nice. And Ryan, if you want to rewind or whatever, man, uh, you're gonna have to wait till I'm done with this. When I'm done with this one, I'll probably uh, I'll have to log off and log back on Facebook Live simply because it'll cut me off for time in the middle of the next contender's case. So I'll stay live everywhere else, but I'll log off Facebook, log back on. Yeah. So there's like basically every break that's posted is is like half full or better for the most part it's pretty good I've got I've got some stuff here you guys don't even know I got like that flawless baseball I think we should get, get after that too I ain't clipping. I'm not stopping ripping flawless baseball until I pull a cut. Damn it. Rock's got fun stuff up for tomorrow night. Then Friday night, dude, I'm just going to throw this out there. Uh, for what, Seabold? I don't know if I took the flawless mini down or not. I'll have to look. I don't know if I pulled those down yet because all of a sudden somebody bought five spots outright. Unlike Rockhold, I'm not as organized on the minis.
punched it and dropped, but now it'll hold. And dude, now you're in the point though, like who does Kansas City play first round? Because here's where everybody in football is going to, this is where the shit, this is where the rubber is going to hit the road. Like if all of a sudden Hunt comes out and balls in that first game and they win, his stuff's going to skyrocket. But if they lose, it'll probably drop a little bit more and then it'll hold. Contenders, anyway. Contenders has that unique ability to continue to gain traction. You know, it's it's the bowman of football. Optic is pretty similar that way too. And then of course, obviously you get into your NT and your, flaw your flawless after, and that stuff continues to go up until the season starts, which is crazy. Because like especially NT, because there'll always be at least one of the major chase rookies that'll be a redemption, always, and the redemptions will sell for a couple hundred bucks less than what the actual card itself will sell for when it goes live. And either once it goes live, it'll all start over again. And Seabold, I don't know that I took those five from Flawless off the website though. So that that many. And I don't know. I'm not saying it does. That mini might fill the break. So I don't know if I removed the spots. Kirk and all with this product, though, you could have said that about anything except for probably like the AFC West. There's a lot of good divisions in this. I mean, AFC South, your big hit is Fournette. Right? Oh, and Houston. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, obviously, I think Watson. I mean, I'm the reason I keep talking about I'm on my home is I'm I'm kind of nervous about Watson, and not because of anything to do with his ability, but because of that knee. Yeah, Corey Davis sucks. I'm not, I'm not terribly impressed with Corey Davis. It's not right now. Um, dude, that's two AC. That's two ACLs and two knees. That's not good. So like, well, I was talking with uh, maybe Seabold. Oh, he he still sells very well based on. Uh, you're talking about Corey Davis. Um, I like Mahomes. Yeah, see, I like Mahomes. How much for a Fournette playoff ticket to 15? Uh, I, I do. I like Mahomes. I don't, do you know who else I kind of like? I kind of like Cooper Cup. I, I still kind of like Joe Mixon. Um, I like Trubisky. I, I think Trubisky's got a lot of room. And, you know, here's the thing with contenders. Like, think about it. Every year, it's always someone at release. And then it turns into someone else. And then the next season, it turns into another guy. I got a Hunt Foreman duel. And, like, right now, it's, it's no doubt it's Watson. But there's more than that. This class is so deep. Um... 
Yeah, I, see, I think buying Mike Williams is a good uh, is is a good buy too because he, he hasn't had an opportunity to show anything yet. You're gonna get him real cheap. I agree. Um, I don't know. I, yeah, I think Watson is that guy that's super high right now. He's the Dak and the Zeke. And Mahomes and Trubisky might be that Wentz, dude. Like, you look at Mahomes' team. Look at what he's going to walk into as a starter next year. He's got Hunt, who looks obviously solid. He's got a really good defense. He's got an offense that's there. He's got a cannon, and he's got Tyreek Hill. That offense is going to change substantially. You put that big quarterback arm... That cannon with a dude like Tyreek who could fly. Yeah, they're cheap here. Yeah, I don't know, man. That, that usually equals a lot of yards and a lot of touchdowns for Mahomes. And it's a and it's a win. That's a win. Chargers are probably available and pick your team for tomorrow, right now. And Mike Williams is the best receiver of last year's class. Mojo build up. Galladay is going to be good. Galladay is going to be good. We haven't even talked about running backs. And there's Fournette, McCaffrey, Kamara. Oh, Kirk and all, that's not true, man. But I'm not going to sit here and argue with you about your lack of hits or how many hits you get or what you do get or whatever. It all goes around. Sometimes you hit, sometimes you don't. And that's what's awesome about I mean look at look at Brady. You know, contenders you get all these rookie autos too, right? The ones that you don't usually get in other boxes. Which is good for two things. They don't flood this with, like, say, Phoenix, which every box you open is going to be a top tier rookie. And, uh, and then you get all these guys who you don't really know about. And then all of a sudden you get a guy like Brady, and his contender's auto turns out to be like a green. Or like Simeon last year, where all of a sudden his contender's base auto was selling for like 300. There's ice. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Sometimes, Lance, that's why you gotta just go random. Continuing to buy your team over and over and over again, hoping for that one card, just doesn't pop up. I totally agree, Seabold. Pack it away and sit on it forever. Unless it's the big dude now, like I'm just gonna throw it out there, like a Watson, 
who you're concerned about what's he going to be like long term. That knee. You hit big now. And it's the same thing I say about like Bitcoin. Don't be afraid to take your win. If you kick yourself in the butt later because it sells for more. So what? I use the analogy today with somebody else. I'm like, it's like going fishing and sitting there after you're fishing, cooking up your fish and telling the story about the biggest one that you had in the line that got away. And it's a lot better being that guy than the guy that goes fishing and goes home with nothing and ain't got no food. I almost gave it to the wrong guy. Why did I almost give it to Because I said the wrong team on the live feed? Or did I actually mail it to the wrong person? I don't remember. You guys have better memories of that stuff than I do. Yeah, I remember you sold that. I, know, I do know you sold it for a grand. <laughs> I hit that semi cracked dice. You almost gave it to the wrong person. Then I sold it for a grid. We're going to throw that in there. Can of Cree. Got three boxes worth of packs left to open. We're almost done. Yeah, but you can't ever do that if all the only cards you ever buy are high tech, Jake. There's no thousand dollar card in tech. I'm not making that's your PC, it's awesome. I'm not dogging that, but. Oh yeah, that's all right. I wouldn't have mailed it there. Oh, <laughs> true, Jay. That's an impossible. I know you're trying to do that whole set. That's an impossible set to do. It's all you've been in lately. You can't. The same. No, it's not. It's not the only thing you got in. That's for sure. That's for sure. You've been around, bro. I know. Hit a super fracker for finest. Darvish. That you said you loved me on. You called me the personal box Jesus.
Hold on, I gotta turn. I gotta close these vents down here. My wife has the heat on set on like hell. Wow. It was local to me, uh, Saturday. Yeah, you should, Siebel. Saturday um, from 1 to 6, we do live breaks in the shop. We do random teams. Typically do like, you know, box to 3, 4 box mixers. And uh, have pretty much, have a lot of fun, man. It's uh we don't use random.org. We have cards made up with all the teams listed on them. Turn them upside down, shuffle them up, and everybody draws one at a time. Um, good times. We'll mix it up between all different sports. Uh, guys that come are usually really fun. And um, whatever. So if you're anywhere near the Rockford, Illinois area, Saturday you ain't doing nothing. Come in. Game will be on. Football will be on. Uh, sport, whatever, you know, is done. And hang out, bullshit, pull some cards, bring some cards, we do some trading, stuff like that. Uh, whatever. Let's do it. Enough people in there. I'll, uh, I'll order up pizza. Have it delivered. If Anthony La Rosa is able to come, I'll have him bring pizza from his restaurant. We'll support him. Uh, how far are you? What? From Jamesville? Dude, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, not even? Not far. Uh, see, Bull, am I close? 30 minutes? 30 minutes, not far from Jamesville. Like, I'm, dude, Rockford's basically right on the border of Wisconsin and Illinois, for the most part. Jamesville is definitely southern Wisconsin. The address to the shop is 218 East State Street, Rockford, Illinois. If that helps you, if you want to map quest it or whatever. Alright. Cool. That'd be awesome, Rick. All right, guys. Let go. Yeah, 30 minutes if you drive slow. Yeah, I agree. It's not far. Miles Garrett. First hit. Solomon Thomas. Rookie ticket. Niners.
Abdullah. Veteran Auto. Veteran Ticket. Going to Detroit. And I see North. It's your PC, ain't it? Lions, can agree? Or your favorite team, anyway? Malachi Dupree, this is going to the Buffalo Bills. Rookie ticket. Here's what else is fun about contenders. About a, what, a week from now or so, they'll announce the SPs. They'll announce some of them. And the contenders craze will go all over again. Yeah, I did. It's good. Hassan Reddick, Arizona. The weird shit. Kaiser. Cam Newton, thirty and ninety nine on the championship ticket. Redemption. Rookie ticket variation RPS. James Connor, Steelers. Nope. It was a solid box, though. Breeze Auto, Montana Auto, um, or solid case. Uh, who else? There's a bunch of stuff in it. It was, it was good. Leonard Fournette. Yuck. 14 of 25 Rookie of the Year contenders. Auto. Get some. AFC South. Seeker. No graded this time. Auto is super clean. Card is clean. That thing's a gen. Oh, a little white on the top corner. Not bad. Very nice. Brian Hoyer to 249. I can see her by spots. Do it. He'd probably appreciate it. Oh, they said, they said you were going to give it to him. They said, I'm going to have him buy him. Michael Roberts, the Lions. Jordan Willis, Bengals. Grab a spot in best, grab a team in draft. Let's go, let's fill them up. Razul Douglas, Eagles. You know Lance? No, it's not Lance. Lance is in the PYT. Sorry. It's Runkle.
Mitch Trubisky. How about a little D.D. Westbrook for Jacksonville again? Nice. D.D. So far, our first two boxes are dope. That case is cracked. Not using it. Tease. Eddie Jackson Bears Fast Eddie Man just think tomorrow's Thursday Then it's Friday then it's Saturday breaks in the shop Saturday night Falcons I'm going to be a wreck Fucking nervous wreck Ooh No Jake Anus. 16 of 99. Jake Butt. Playoff ticket for Denver. Another redemption. Rookie ticket RPS, Wayne Gallman. Oh. There you go. Gallman is Giants. Correct. Elijah Qualls, 36 of 99, playoff ticket. I don't seem as nervous this year. Uh, I actually like our chances. <laughs> to be honest with you, I know, like, uh, I know nobody's going to agree with me. Marlon Mack. But, um,. I, I think Atlanta's got a shot. Devin Gachu or Chow. Dolphins. Like, I mean, at this rate, so let me let me further explain my answer. We're wild card team. We're not going in as a number one seed, first round by best offense in football. Kicking ass. We're we're having a little bit of struggles. It's pretty obvious. But dude. If you're going to go into the playoffs, and you're going to be a visiting team, and you're a dome team, at least the best thing you want to do is at least get us somewhere that's warm if you can't play in a dome. Godwin. Bucks. So we get to go to L.A. Everyone's like, yeah, the Chargers are fucking legit. And they are. Agreed. They're a running team first with the best running back in the league. No arguments there. I think our run defense has been pretty solid. And um, it's gotten better. AP, championship ticket to 99. And they have zero playoff experience. They're in a home that's a first year there that's in LA. They don't have that major fan base. Kareem Hunt, they'll pack the place, I'm sure. That's going to work in our favor better than other places, better than New Orleans. D'Angelo Henderson. Uh, Fournette so far was the best. And and then so let's say let's say we win that game. Just go along with me. I know a lot of you guys think of no way you don't win, but let's say we do. Then we go play in Philly. And they're limping in. You know, they've been they've been a great team all year. They've been the best team probably in the league, blah 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 blah. 
They're still limping in. They're missing their starting quarterback. Right? So, they're not playing extremely confident. Full sucks. Tredavious White, Buffalo. So now, say you go into Philly, and our let's say our offense is kicking a little bit, and we're getting some movement, and we're scoring. Let's say we beat Philly. Right? Again, I'm, I'm just talking. Then, we get to play whoever wins between New Orleans, Carolina, Minnesota. Gachow again. And let's say, and I'm going to say this, let's say I get lucky and it's Minnesota. Best case scenario is Carolina. But I think everybody's going to say worst case scenario is Minnesota. I disagree. I think best case scenario for me out of those two teams would be playing Minnesota at Minnesota in a dome because it's, it's a lot easier to play there, sorry Vikings fans, than it is in New Orleans, a team that you play twice every year anyway. And those games are always shootouts with us. They're hard. They're a hard team to beat twice in a year. We've already beat them once. They've beat us once. I don't know that I want to play them again. So let's say we get Minnesota in a dome. Did you happen to see it, the game we played Minnesota? Like it was, it was down on the wire. We could have won that game. I think we could win that game again. Josh Harvey Clemens, Redskins. So that's what I see as our path to get to the Super Bowl. As a wild card team, I think we have the easiest path from any team in the NFC to get to get to the Super Bowl based on the competition you'd have to face. I think the other side's got it worse. I mean, you're guaranteed you win that game. You gotta go play Minnesota. That's a tough game. Yeah, we can, they didn't score on us lights out either, though, Andy. I mean, it's it's not impossible. Ross Cockrell. I, I mean. It, I don't think what I just said sounds wrong. And you get a team with the talent that we have on offense, get lucky, get rolling, then get hot, we could go. You did. You want to play another game like that again? I don't think a lot of teams do. I don't think a lot of teams want to be in that game that's close to the end. A.J. Green... To 99. Yeah, but you know what? We don't have to just use Julio. This case just got lively again. Juju. Steelers. And shutting Julio down in the playoffs is different. And shutting our run game down is different. And shutting down Mohamed Sanu and Julio and Freeman at the same time is different. Yeah, get high after halftime. Right. <laughs> right. Fucker. <laughs> Trust me. I don't need the reminders. I still get upset about it. I know. Saints could win it all, man. Vince Beagle, J Packers. <laughs> Have you guys met my friends on Facebook Live yet? They like to talk to remind me every time about the most painful sporting loss I've ever had in my life as a fan. If you haven't, they're right there. Hmm. I, I got some Jamal Williams if you need. Eddie Jackson, again, ooh, this time playoff ticket, 98 of 99.
<laughs> this one's cool. Greg Olson, Cracked Ice Auto, 7 of 25 for the Panthers. NFC South. Canicry. Veteran ticket. But then you look at that other side of the NFC, right? They're, those three are going to go through a gauntlet, man. Between Carolina, New Orleans, and Minnesota. They're going to beat the snot out of each other. And that does nothing but bode good for whoever comes out of the other side of that bracket. Huh. You know, like... Maybe I'm wrong. I've been wrong before, but the way it spells out to me, that looks good. Thirty-eight and ninety-nine, Lamar Miller. And then you got the AFC, where I think everybody thinks that the Patriots are the favorite. Dude, there's. They're going to have some tough matches, too. I mean, eventually, they're probably going to have to play Pittsburgh again. Devontae Mays. And remember that game? Two weeks ago. The one that Pittsburgh won, and then they lost. It'll be fun. It'll be fun playoffs. But if Atlanta doesn't get there, I think I would, as much as this pains me to say, I think I would like to see New Orleans... New England. Brady versus Breeze. That sounds pretty cool. Redemption. Jamal Williams. Rookie ticket RPS. Jamal Williams is uh, Packers. Right. Goldman. George Kittle, Niners. Well, you may got to tell me, Scott. <laughs> I agree. Speaking of New England. Wow, McCaffrey. Yuck, that's the first that's the first base ticket I've pulled. That's the first rookie ticket of McCaffrey I've pulled. NFC South. Mike Krua. Nice hit. Nice hit. Davis Webb, rookie ticket. G Man, NFC East. I've had several people tell me they think this is going to be, he's going to be the starter in New York next year. We shall see. He could be one of those contenders tickets that you think, eh, maybe I hold on to this one for a minute. Nixon. Obi Melifamu, championship ticket, 48 of 49 for Oakland.
Bernard Reedy, 1 of 49 championship ticket for Tampa. Anthony Walker Jr. for the Colts. I wonder if my chat's gone out again. Jameis. To 99. Oh, I got chat back. It's weird. Yeah, Seabold saying, Yep. Michael Roberts. Lions. Yeah, that's you bought you bought like all the good big teams for the most part, didn't you? Kendall Beckwith, Tampa. Don't you worry, buddy. Both these cases are going to be solid. And Rock's got two cases for tomorrow, and then we have a total of four left. And as to this point, I'm not able to get any more. At least not at this price. Gerard Evans playoff ticket, 25 of 49 for the NFC East. Half the shit bombs. We were talking about that. Matt Breda. Niners. As flawless is extremely close. Stop what, Lance? Oh, the Eagles. Flawless is extremely close. Bowman's best is extremely close. Bowman draft is extremely close. Let's fill them up. Give me a reason to go shopping and be creative and find something new to break for the weekend. J.H.I. playoff ticket to 249 for Miami. And we're 10 out. Uh, there's a lot of Eagles. Mac Hollins. Eagles. I had the Eagles the other day and hit like eight autos or something. Well, I'm in the pick your team too. Forgot. Fuck you. Wow. That's not nice, Lance. Curse at the guy you're trying to get to pull you cards. Chad Williams, Cracked Ice Auto, 15 of 25. Arizona, NFC West. 
Nathan Pape. Mac Brown. Championship ticket, 17 of 49 for Washington. Oh. That was uh, interesting. Marlon Mack, Colts. I would like to have left that in there too because I got them in the next one. Points, 250. If they were ever going to pop up. Jamal Adams, 33 of 49, rookie of the year for the Jets. Stafford, cracked ice, base, 25 of 25 for the Lions. And move some of this base before I dump it all. There we go. Two boxes left. 150. Sidney Jones for the Eagles. Kaysen Williams, 50, 62 of 99 playoff ticket for the Browns. Cooper Cup, same name as my son. Oh, it's not that. I was upside down. That's silly. Zay Jones, cracked ice for Buffalo. That could have been in the next case. Ten to twenty-five. 
Nice. Got uh, Buffalo in the next case, too. Zach Miller, base plate for both Bears. Another DD, Westbrook. That's the second DD I've pulled, and they've both been in this case. Been a solid case. Fournette, McCaffrey. Who else? Several others. Jamal Adams again for the Jets. If you didn't get a fill of Jamal Adams, there's another one. Jets. J E T S. Jets. 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 Josh Malone for the Bengals. iPad is about to die. So if you want to chat with me, go on Breakers or a live stream, or I'll try to see over there, but I can't guarantee how much longer it stays on. You know, I'm going to turn it off just for a bit. See if we can get a little charge to it. Desmond King Chargers Raheem Mostert, Niners. Last box.
Terrell Pryor, senior, veteran ticket. Couple bad autos in this. Not always common. Buda Baker, Arizona. Looks like it says you can watch on breakers now without puffing. Out the app. That's kind of cool. Brandon Marshall to 249. It's been like that for a while, though, actually, now that I think about it. Ben Bowlware, Panthers. Marquez White, Dallas. Carl Lawson, Cincy, Cincy, Cincinnati, Victor Bolden Jr. Niners. Kareem Hunt. Sick, 146 of 199, Rookie of the Year for the Chiefs. Nice case, nice case. Fournette, McCaffrey, Hunt. Cracked ice, some vet autos. Carlos Hyde to 249. You call me crazy. That's good. P. Ryan. Nice. Skins. And 
again just because they want to 150 more points that gives us the 550 Okay, hold on. Straighten this out real quick. Because it's falling all over the place. There you go. Last stack. Sorry. It's bothering me. Adam Shaheen Bears. There it is. We'll random the points. I'll move this stuff. I'm going to then log it off, log back on. We'll do Contenders PYT, and hopefully we'll do some Bowman Draft, some Optic, some Flawless. I'll check the uh, spots on the case, or the break of Flawless, too, and see if I have taken those down or not. And I'll be able to give you info. This is the Giants. All right, 300, 550 points. The list, the dice are an eight. Good luck. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Joel Hurt, your code. Gratz, 